Hey guys, welcome back to the Lands of the Pharaohs, I'm Sir Duke, and today we're going to be heading into more Age of Pyramids, but we're not going to be building pyramids in any of these choice missions, but for today's part we're going to be heading to Eonet, or Dendera, a threat from Kush, I believe this is the military mission, and the goals are going to start ramping up just a little bit on these missions now, so let us head to Eonet. Pharaoh Khufu has taken the throne, and as foretold by seers of Horus and Ra, our people have already begun to suffer under his oppression. Khufu has ordered that a royal governor be dispatched at once to Eunet to defend our land against Kushite invaders. Eunet can support a small fishing industry which should feed the settlement for a time. If the Kushites invade by water, however, the river may become unsafe for fishing boats, and shore areas may be better used to support a fleet of warships. If food becomes scarce, cattle may also be raised to provide meat, though the herds require much straw for fodder, and straw is difficult to grow in this land. You should seek other cities with which to trade for straw, for you will also need this to make bricks for your mastaba. The city of Byblos in Lebanon, land of the cedars, has begun trading with the powerful empires of the east. These are Assyria and Ur, and the land called Mesopotamia, between the two great rivers, and from them the finest ivory may be obtained via Byblos. With the arrival of rare and exotic luxury goods such as this, Eunet is sure to thrive. In the capital, the Egyptian people have begun to enjoy a board game called Senet. This game is normally enjoyed over a pitcher of beer in a public gathering place called a Senate House. Such places may provide a welcome diversion for the people of Eunet from the tyranny of Khufu's authority. Pharaoh has ordered that countless quarries be dug at On in the Delta region to harvest a vast supply of fine white limestone. Only the gods know what endeavor Pharaoh has planned for the use of this stone. It is rumored that he is planning a colossal building project on the plateau outside Rostja, that he may usurp the renown his father, the wise and benevolent Snofru has earned from the completion of his two noble pyramids. Well, quite some forebodings for the future, particularly the next mission after Eunet, if you're playing by campaign, of course, but uh, it looks as if we've got a threat from um, the south, from Kushite territory people, they're going to come and invade. Um, 4,000 people is quite high, so we're going to be sort of, at this point in the game, uh, 4,000 is sort of the norm. You will be expected to build at least that amount most of the time. Uh, culture rating of 30, prosperity of 30, kingdom rating 65, and a monument rating of 9. We are here on Eonet, the defense of Egypt, continuing on hard mode, let's head to the city. Slow time right down and pause. And let's have a look around. So we've got, well, four sections. Here's the Kingdom Road right here. Um, got a bit of floodplain here. Can we do anything with it? No, there's no farm. So this floodplain is really just here to get in the way. We can't farm anything on there. But there's a lot of straight line coast here. And um, looks as if our only food type is fishing. So we can do some fishy wharfs. And um, there's some rock here. Can we do anything with that? We've got clay pits, limestone quarry, granite quarry, gold mine, and copper mine. Uh, so we can make gold and copper. Uh, here's another little island down here. Quite a bit of fishing points around here. There's, uh, well, there's at least two there. I think there's another one somewhere else. I don't know. Anyway, there's a big landmass here with a lot of ore. So I think we can just go straight into copper from the outset. I don't see the point of going into gold. I mean, I could, but there's no point. Now, the coast, this space here is actually quite small. And there's not a lot of coastline here. And it looks as if the map developer has been very devious. We can't go across like this. We've got to go across to this right hand island in round to get down to this bit here. I uh, could probably set up a bit of a block here. Now I don't want to build the whole of my city in this area. Most of my designs on this map have usually just been to accommodate this entire area for housing and maybe just have some freezer houses elsewhere. But I'm going to try and build this a bit more naturally. I'm going to have a block here, a block here, and another one up here. This can just be sort of a monument industry kind of area. And we'll have all of these islands developed. Because we are going to need to access all of this um, space here. We are going to need some warships. Uh, not transport ships. 
We are going to need some warships at some point, but I can't just stuff most of them over this side because there's plenty of space for it. Now since we can't farm, we have to import straw. Uh, gods are Ra, Seth and Bast. Who's the patron? It's probably going to be Seth. Uh, no, it's Bast actually is the patron god here. Fairly interesting, this is a military mission. We're having to appease a non-military god. We can make clay. We can't make barley, so we're going to have to import that. So we're here at Eonet on this bend in the Nile. Apparently where there's a bunch of copper. You know how like earlier on in the, the game they told you that there's hardly any copper here? Over the course of, I think, a number of missions, it's determined that this little area here, there's a shit ton of copper apparently. Why we couldn't have just developed this early on, I don't know. I don't know why we had to go to Sinai to do that, but never mind. So we have down here, Salima Oasis who buys pottery and copper. We also have here Buhe, which buys a lot of granite, sells his barley, and they also buy copper as well. So we can sell 5,000 copper a year, not too bad. Kerma is a water trade route that just buys linen, completely useless, we can't make that. Dashur sells straw and barley, so we can get pretty much all the barley and, and straw as needed. Uh, although Dashur doesn't buy anything. I mean, they do buy bricks and granite, but they're not worth anything because we have to import straw. Um, so I'm probably going to go, and these are land trade routes, Dashur is a water trade route as well. We've got a trade route up here to uh, Byblos, which buys gems we can't make, we don't need wood. Uh, actually, we do need wood, but we can get that from a much cheaper trade route of, of Salima here. We don't need copper, we can produce that. If we want gems, we can just import gems from somewhere, probably. So, bit of an interesting one. So I'm going to go and plan out my housing unit. I'm going to start down here. And we're going to get on to fishing and all that. And I'll come back in once I develop the first housing block on this bottom island. Okay, so we've got our city all nicely set up here. So we've got a housing block here. And it's going to feed access for housing to these copper mines. And a bit of a um, food dump area around this area. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it because I want to have basically all my food distribution here. And of course, this could end up leading into me having another block there, which I don't really want to do, but we'll see. Uh, over here, we have set up an area where I'm going to have my uh, warships and my shipwright and all that. Once the shipwright is functional, then I'll move it somewhere else, maybe over here, I don't know. Excuse me, folks. Uh, so we'll have a bit of a, an industry over here, because we're going to have to have all these areas connected. We're going to have, a, have to have some housing here so that we can have our traders come, because these two traders that buy copper are land trade routes. Unfortunately, any of the copper that we sell is over here. There's even, I think, a little bit, if I just rotate the map. Uh, yeah, there's an absolutely tiny smidgen just here, which still needs to be connected anyway, so it's not a big deal. Um, we'll probably make more here, I'm not sure. But for now we're just going to go with this larger deposit here. So let's unpause the game. And we're going to have fishy wharfs. Well we're going to have one there. One there. Probably one there. Maybe have the ship right there later. And then here we'll have a couple of fishy wharfs here and there. Uh, down here we will have uh, transport, uh, not transport, warship wharfs here. They'll supplement the four up here. And then we can have just along the back bit here. This is all water access, we can have clay pits pretty much all across this section here. It'll feed into a pottery and brick making industry, because we are going to have to build a small massima, but we can make all the bricks ourselves, so it's not going to take too long. I'm not sure where I'd want to build it though, maybe there? I suppose it would work there, near our copper and all that. Anyway, we're going to let this run. I've put down a temple to bass, so I haven't put down any shrines yet, I don't want to do that just yet. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this run, and I'm going to come back in once we've started to make our first copper, and fish as well, because we're going to need fish early on. Okay, so we're starting to produce our first copper right here. It took a while. Unfortunately, I've just noticed that it's been... The year seems to have passed very quickly. We haven't actually produced any fish, which I know we're going to need. So we have got this all set up now, making a fishing uh, boat. These two should make enough fish for the upcoming request that I know is going to happen. Um, these are all working at nice efficiency, they're starting to make copper, which is good. Once I have a nice big supply of it, I will open up a trade route to... Um, probably Salima Oasis, because we are going to need wood early on, but I might open up to Buhen, because Buhen's cheaper. Um, well, we will see, uh, it depends, because uh, this might lose access, I'm not too sure at this point. Um, could even just 
put the road going down this way instead. Anyway, we are making copper, which is fine. Fishing boat is getting made. The people are moving in at a fairly slowish pace. 140 more people want to enter, although immigration is a bit slower than I would like. So let's just um, add in more houses along there. And I have checked this guy, if he walks down here, he will turn back. So if he walks down this way, he will go back the shortest way, which is fine. I can have the intersection for the pavilion right here and it won't affect anything. Unless he comes in this way and goes up and then he's going to be screwed, but that's fine. Um, so things are going well. We're going to get a lot of copper here. We've got all of the, these things connected, which is fine. We can now start selling copper when we're ready to. Um, gods are happy I did put down a shrine each to them, and I've got this in basically a loop, so it's fine. Um, Nylometer, which is completely useless because we have no use for it. Um, I really hope this, these fishing boats start getting produced soon. Let's just, um, because we are needing workers, let's put this up to three, get this going quickly. And uh, let's just open up a trade route. Let's open up the trade route to Buhen, 450. And we can start selling copper there. All the copper we produce can be sold. I think we're doing well now. I hope we're, we're slightly behind a little bit, I think, on this one. We have um, sort of built all this and not really got an export or any uh, food going either, which is kind of problematic because it's the end of the year now. And I know our request is going to be called for fairly soon. Got the people moving in. There's one fishing boat. Hopefully it'll start producing fish and putting it in this yard. And uh, yeah, so we could maybe speed up with other fishing boats. I mean, you're almost completed the next one. Anyway, so let's just speed up time. A fire? Where? <sighs> well, we've got 12 months to send four just buckets of fish and the thing burnt down, which is not very helpful. So, um, well, he, bought, he built that one before it burnt down. It seems as if these guys keep walking down this way, which is kind of unfortunate. So we'll see about that request. I may reload and uh, try and prevent that from burning down because that's not very helpful. So I'll come back in when we're ready to meet that request for fish. So we're starting to sell copper. Loads of money coming in. Uh, I did just quickly reload and managed to save the shipwright from burning down because that's expensive. It's like 420. We are stockpiling fish, which is good. It's coming in from these two. Now I do want to get into straw very quickly because I know that there is a request and um, it's a request that you only get one chance to fulfill to open up a trade route to Men Nefer uh, which allows you to get papyrus. If you don't fulfill it on time then you're screwed basically because then you're basically stuck at uh, the level where they need schools because then you won't get papyrus. 300, that's fine. So I'm going to want to import straw. Uh, for cattle ranches. So we're going to put down a cattle ranch. Um, let's just actually pause here a second. I want to delete this and we're going to move this up to there. And then we're going to have a dock right there. Then we're going to have this and this right next to it. Since we're so far, we're going to have an additional firehouse and architect's post down here. Then we'll get rid of this centralised set because we don't need them. So that's 400 fish. There we go. Let's send that off. That'll keep Pharaoh happy. We sold out all the copper. We've made all of our money back, which is perfect. Um, so let's look for a source of straw. Now I do know that the only source of straw at the moment is Dashur, but I don't want to open up that trade route just yet. Um, I know a trade route to Abu becomes available. We can probably import straw from there. If not, then I will uh, open up the trade route to Dashur. Let's put this here, which is going to accept straw and meat. We're going to have 400 straw there, and we'll have one cattle ranch just there. Yeah, I wish I could have put one there as well, but it's not a, it's not a problem. So uh, yeah, we'll come back in once um, something happens. We're going to have to get a source of straw and start making meat. Our unemployment is getting a little out of control, which is not too helpful. We better keep the gods happy as well. Let's just put down. A uh, couple of shrines. I may need to just put down additional temples, I think. Maybe I'll have one. Uh, for now, I'm just going to put down a temple each to these gods. Just in this centre, but they will be deleted later. Okay, so we'll just keep on going. I'll come back in a bit later if anything of interest happens. Okay. 
Okay, so we set the uh, uh, we graciously honoured Pharaoh and Osiris by sending 400 buckets of fish to Menefer in time for their festival, and we can now trade with Abu. Interesting. So what do they sell? They sell more straw. We can import flax and sell pottery, uh, which is actually very useful. So we are going to open up this water trader, unfortunately, to Abu. And we're going to start importing some straw. We're going to need 400 at the moment. I uh, was just making sure these guys were going to get up here, which they do, so that's fine. Let's just put down a... I don't think these burn, do they? Only this burns, so it's okay. We can just put that there. I don't think this one here is going to reach down here. If that's the case, that's unfortunate. But we shall see. So we're going to start importing some straw and make some meat from it. I did put down a couple of uh, warships as well that would help with the unemployment as well. And I think it's time we fed our people. So let's put down a granary here, which is going to get fish. And then we can just have a bazaar right here, which is going to buy fish. And we can start evolving our housing up a little bit, uh, which will help with our um, employment issues. And we can also put down a ferry landing here and start tapping some of this coastline for more fishing wars, which will help with our supply. We can also just put another one right here, actually, to be honest with you. I think we have sold out all of our copper, just about, so that's okay. We're selling all the copper we can. Uh, you don't seem to be able to reach down here in time, which is unfortunate. Let's just have a look at you. Let's see, you come down here, and you just turn back and pick it the last minute, but you seem to just touch the edge of it, but not fully, so I may just need a couple of houses down here, uh, which is unfortunate because it's going to stuff up everything. I wouldn't want this, but uh, let's just clean this road up a little bit. We'll have a go like this instead. We'll have two of these and they should have access. If needed I will just put down extra mines here and have a bit of a house touching them. Okay so we're going to start making meat which is exactly what we want to see and then we're going to start building um, warships as well for any upcoming invasions we might end up having. Okay, so we'll just start to evolve our house here, and I'll come back in later when something of importance happens. Okay, so we start to evolve our housing here, and uh, provide them with access to food and all that kind of stuff. Get them up into rough, uh, rough cottages, that came out really wrong. Um, let's just have a look at their fire risk right now. Um, ooh, we've got a building that's about to burn down, which doesn't actually help. Let's... Um, is he going to go up there? Yes, he is. He's okay. Uh, so let's just put another firehouse just up there just to make sure things don't burn down. So we're getting our people moving in, uh, which is helping us to get more employment. Oh, we've got enemies closing on the city, apparently. Okay. Um, I just set up a bit of a clay industry. What we're going to have is a big pottery dump here, which is going to allow us to export pottery to two of our trading partners. Uh, a Kushai army is approaching in nine months. Well, we've got two warships here, which is going to help. We're selling off all the copper we produce, which is helping us to make money. How much have we sold? 2,500? 2,500. We're sold out for the year, which is good. And the excess copper that we um, have is going into weapons production, just in case we will need any kind of troops. We're going to put a warehouse right here, which can accept the weapons. We'll have just a bit further away from our copper mining area, which will be fine. Uh, so we've got plenty of cash at this point. I mean, cash is no object at all to this mission. We made 200 meat, which is okay. So we'll have a bit of a stockpile of meat just in case someone just decides that they want it. Um, I also went down and dumped down a bunch of shrines just here, just to create a bit of a shrine wall, and it'll keep the gods happy for quite a while at least, so that's going to be good. Uh, not really getting much fish, so I think it's time to just draw out some roads here. Finding people in the city, that's not too bad. I should do this. And what we're going to have is a little bit of housing there. Firehouse at each end. Thereabouts. And then these things just in the middle here, just because we don't need too many of them. And then we can just put down one, two, three, four, five, six fishing wars. So that's more than enough to support all of this. And uh, we may have a block up here which will have its own fishing supply, which will be fine. Uh, as people move in, we will start to expand out on our various industries. I think we've got, what's this, 200 straw, 400, so basically 600 meat will stockpile. That'll be more than enough for any possible requests. The meat one does catch you out because you only get one chance at it. And of course you've got to import the 
the needed straw for the betray partner, which doesn't actually help either. Uh, no one buys luxury goods, do they? Oh no, we can sell luxury goods to Karma, but that's not worth it. I could do an import of flax and sell linen as well, which would make the trade route to Karma worth it. Because I don't think anyone else buys linen. No. Okay, so I've got some ideas of where I want to get this city going to. We may want to trade with Karma, I'm not too sure. Hey, we're just going to keep on going and we're just going to uh, start developing our military and I'll come back in once that invasion's here. Well, what's this? To satisfy citizens' needs, we need to send some meat to Abu, 200 meat. Now, it actually takes a long time just to produce 200 meat, so you really need to be preparing this in advance. Fortunately, we have 500 meat that we can send off, which will help greatly with our with our stuff. Uh, I have put down these two uh, warships just down here because if you look here you can see the icon it's a ship invasion. All the invasions on this map are sea invasions unless they send troops. Now the first one doesn't send troops. I know that much because that's not fair uh, so early on. I mean we started when? 2551 it'd be difficult to get an uh, any land forces by two years into the mission so it's a good thing it's a land at a sea invasion. Now I think this thing is just continually building fishing boats. Shouldn't maybe have built these fishing wars to be honest because it's not going to build that warship at all. Which doesn't help. Let's just turn off meat because we don't need any more. And um, I don't think there's any other requests for it. And one of the interesting things about this mission. There we go we've got one month uh, to the invasion. One thing about this, about this mission is that the events actually stop. So uh, there's no repeating events. So there's a point where you could basically have freedom to do what you want. Uh, unfortunately we're not going to be doing that because we've got uh, a let's play to do here. We are stockpiling weapons. One, two, three, four, five, six copper mines should be more than enough. I mean how much copper have we sold? We've sold 1600 there, 800 there so not too bad. Uh, these bizarre trades are spawning kind of weirdly again which doesn't help at all because it just means everything's going to be messed up. If needed I just move the bizarre person down. Uh, Kushite army is upon us. Where? Oh there. Come on, shoot. He's going to destroy that fishing boat, but that's fine. It's only one warship, so let's see. The Kushite army is quite strong, actually. I will say that right now. I'm defeated. Not too bad. Strong. Very strong, that's not too bad, so it didn't take too much damage from that, that's okay. Plenty of weapons, just in case we want to start developing a bit of a land force out here maybe. I might have to put down a few uh, things, but we'll do that when we get more money. At the point, at this point I'm just trying to stabilise our food supply, it seems to be a bit erratic at the moment. Because we don't seem to be getting enough fish, but we'll be sorting that out very soon because we're going to have all these fishing boats. Hopefully all the fishing boats will be made quickly so that we don't have to hang around for this thing trying to make the next warship. And maybe when I've got enough employees, uh, let's have a look, six employees, yeah we don't have enough. Uh, so when I get more employees we'll set up the pottery industry which will give us a second export because we'll be able to export that to Salimo Oasis and Abu which but that's a lot of pottery we can sell so that'll be a good export. So yeah I'll just keep on going, I'll come back in if anything of interest happens. What's this? Because your reputation in the kingdom recently increased, a new trade route to Mednefer can now be opened. That happened pretty quickly after I just got a, a kingdom rating boost for sending that slabs of meat. So let's have a look at Mednefer. And they sell papyrus, the only source. We can um, sell luxury goods to them. So basically Mednefer doesn't buy anything of use. They just sell us papyrus, which we don't really need uh, right now. But if you fail to send that meat, then you can't get papyrus. And I'm very hard, I'm not sure if that would impact on your, your prosperity rating. I can't remember. I don't think it should. The, the, the missions are usually winnable even if you don't have a critical good. Sometimes. Uh, later missions they tend to put in arbitrary limitations that if you fail a request, then you're screwed basically. So we're not going to be trading with Menef for just yet, but we are going to be trading with all of our other trade routes for now. We have so much cash, it's unbelievable. We've got all these boats out, which is good. I'm not sure what you're building. Hopefully you're going to get rid of all these fishing boats and then you're going to start building a warship, which is what we want. But we shall see. This is starting to stockpile on fish, which is good. How much are you bringing back? I'm not too sure. 200, that's not too bad. Nilometer, which we don't care about. 
So uh, yeah, we can start evolving our housing a bit more. What space do we have? 70 people, not too much. So let's put down a pavilion right here. You can see I've sort of rearranged this to put down a courthouse, got rid of the police station, which is going to help in the long run. So we're going to start getting these houses evolved quite nicely into, um, what is it, ordinary cottages. And we'll get more people. I may set up another little housing block here or one up over here to try and get more people because we are short quite a bit on workers. Okay, so I'm going to keep on going. I'll come back in if anything of interest happens. Well, this is a rather obnoxious event. A flooded play clip. A uh, clit. That doesn't sound right. Flooded clay pit. Um, one of our clay pits suffered a terrible flood. We had to destroy the clay pit to prevent others falling in. Well, that's just helpful. Not. I just have to rebuild it. It doesn't work anyway. Now, down here, I have put down a block down here. I'm not too sure I'm going to feed it because there's no way to get a granary in this space at all without putting it on the map edge and then it wouldn't be accessible at all. Uh, so I may uh, just import a food. We can import um, chickpeas and grain. What I could do is simply set up a, a yard here that gets uh, the imported food and brings it down here, which is feasible. We could do that. Let's just say six of grain and uh, we could just give them imported food rather than having them to feed on fish. Although they might be close enough to this ground that they might get fish. But we shall see about that later. Uh, meanwhile, these houses are evolving. This is all going to provide us plenty of workers. Uh, which will allow us to basically turn on things like clay pits and the like. So let's just put down more of them. And let's just um, turn them on. Let's we'll get them going. We can also put down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There's 10, clay p uh, 10 potters in there, so that's going to support all of this quite nicely. Let's start getting our pottery stockpile and we can start um, uh, selling pottery as well to make more money. Because copper is not really holding up as well as I would like, simply because it's all getting used for weapons. Uh, so let's see, we're only selling like a thousand copper, 16... We're, we're still selling quite a lot, but it's not as much as I would expect. So we'll start to get uh, things going into this city now, hopefully make some money. And uh, yeah, and they should also, when they're buying their pottery, they should always take it from here. Uh, there is another invasion incoming, which we should be prepared for, I hope. Uh, with all the workers that are coming in, we should be able to staff one more uh, warship wharf before that invasion. Okay, so we're going to get things going, and I hope um, we can defend ourselves from the invasion. Hopefully nothing get, uh, gets destroyed in it. Okay, so we'll just keep on going. I'll come back in when we're near that invasion. Okay, so we're getting uh, the invasions happening in one month. Uh, we did manage to get another warship built, which helped. Let's just put down the four warships right here in our famous hold position. Position, if you get it. Um, we are making plenty of pottery. We have so much unemployment now that we can actually staff these things. Uh, once we've got the yard filled, I will just sell all of it, which won't be until the next trading year. Just move back a little bit, like so. Now, I do believe this one comes with uh, transport, so we're going to want to get rid of the transports fairly quickly. Uh, these are starting to move in, which is good. Uh, I did move the uh, conservatory over so in case I want to put down a granary. Anyway, foreign army invades. Can't be that large. Let's get rid of the transport very quickly. And there's two warships, which should die pretty quick. Oh, come on, don't destroy fishing boats, for goodness sake. Now, they should die pretty quickly. There goes one. And there goes the second. Strong. Very strong. Very strong. And yeah, so they pretty much de uh, decimated that fleet very quickly. Um, and then, uh, the next year I will start selling pottery since we're making far more than we need. We can put down as many clay pits as we want. We've got space for them all. I think we can start importing... Um, we're we'll, we'll going to turn on... I should know. Turn off meat. Let's import grain. We're going to have a granary here which is going to get um, meat. And what we're going to do is we're going to feed our uh, this block over here on meat. We'll try and meet, uh, feed this one on meat as well, but I'm not too sure. Um, but we will see. Uh, let's just delete these yards to so get in the way, which doesn't help. Not too sure where I'm going to put meat uh, yards. So I may, I could just set it up over here or something. I'm not too sure. The problem is that meat produces so slowly. Uh, that it's not really viable as a food type unless you're building like 10 meat yards or something. Was it 10 cattle ranches to make any semblance in that? 
uh, is a Futite, so it's not going to go too well. But we will see. Uh, we've got all our back, that's good. Let's just um, get the meat over here. We're not going to really use it for anything. Let's just set this to accept. And I'll play around with this a little bit later, but we, we'll sh we shall see. I may even move the dock down here so I can have all my dock trading down here. Let's just do that. Dock there. Warship. And once you're finished doing your thing, I'm going to delete you and um, have you all go to this closer one and then it's easier. Uh, we're not importing straw, are we? No. Okay, that's fine. We'll get rid of all this meat and stockpile it in this granary just for whatever reason. Um, we're actually going to start feeding people, I think. Let's just feed these guys on fish. Uh, I should just feed yourself on any food type that just happens to exist. That's okay. Okay, we're going to keep on going. This one limestone coin that I put down just to satisfy any possible request for limestone we might get. It's split across these two yards, so that's fine. And uh, yes, I'll just keep on going. I'll come back in once something of importance happens. Well, that's unfortunate. We just started selling pottery just there, but we now need to send 1,500 pottery to Slim Oasis. We do have it. Let's send it off. We should be able to produce that pretty quickly, so it's not too much of a problem. Let's just put down more clay pits, so just to make sure there's enough supply uh, here to cover for that. Um. Where are we accepting grain, actually? Oh, it's down here, isn't it? Shit, that's not helpful. Um, we can put clay pits along here, so that's okay. 2,000 people. I'm not too sure. Can we fit one in there? We can. That's good. Let's put this architect's post in here so nothing collapses. So, I don't think we're going to need much more clay pits than this. So, what I'm going to do is, over here, I'm going to set up... Sorry about that random cut again. We're still getting minimizers. I have, uh, for record, I have uninstalled the game, I've reinstalled it, I've made sure to close things like Discord down, but it's still happening. So I'm pretty much out of ideas at this point. So it's going to happen and I'm just going to have to cut them out every time they happen. As I was saying, I'm going to have a double roadblock here, like so. Because what we're going to have is a nice big loop. One, two, three, four. Um, let's just put a route right down to the end here, like so. Kingdom standing climbs, that helps. I'll just put that there. I'll move all this stuff out of the way as well, let's just delete that. It's getting the, the road now, which is not too good. Uh, these shrines can be moved as well, let's just move this Ra shrine. I'll just put them down here instead. I can do another shrine wall just there. Just gets rid of some of this mess. That's a bath shrine, isn't it? So we'll just delete that too. There we go. So this cattle ranch will just be deleted. We're going to remove it. Then we're going to put down one, two, three. Can I get another one in? It's at the edge of the, the map there. It's not. We can just do that. Like so. And then we'll have our firehouse and an architect's post right here, which will be protecting that area quite nicely. Four cattle ranches, then we can just have... Is that space for a storage yard there? Nope, so we can just put in a firehouse and an architect's post right there. That can go there. Then we can have that there, and that uses up that space quite nicely, so that's good. Uh, everyone's accessible to that, so that's good. Uh, what's our unemployment line? 23 missing workers, that's not too good. Um, maybe we should just start... Um, what have you got? Have you got fish? Are you even able to reach fish? I'm not too sure. Um, maybe another granary. Maybe I'll move this granary over here instead of having it in this location. I'm not too sure yet, but we shall see. So yeah, I'm just going to keep on going and I'll come back in when something of importance happens. Okay, so another invasion is on the way, and we've got everything nice to set up here. I'm going to turn off grain imports, because it seems as if um, Abu wants to sell me more grain and they do straw, which is causing these um, cattle ranches to not work as effectively as I would like them. Which means we can't stockpile any meat, which doesn't actually help. 
So they're going to buy the last of the grain and then we're never going to import grain again. We're just going to get everyone up to common residence. Maybe add the odd block on spacious or elegant residence. Uh, but for the most part, everyone is going to be a common residence. And we're going to have basically three blocks. One here, one here, and then a smaller one over here. Just providing additional uh, workers in that. And we've got all six warships built, which is good. And that's uh, helping quite a lot. Let's um, sell pottery again when there's more than 2,000 in the city. It should always take from here, I hope. Now we've got pottery getting over here, which is going to provide for these guys. So we're going to provide pottery to you. Uh, over here I am uh, training up some troops, I've uh, got plenty of weapons for this. Uh, got the academy trained as well, so you should get made as well. There we go. Well there are um, ships there, and uh, there goes one transport. I think, is that all of them? Are these just all warships now? Yeah they are. They're all just warships at this point, so let's just let them do their thing. We can just speed this up. There goes one of them is weak. Okay, that wasn't too bad. One is actually weak, but just about to stay up. There we go. So the invasions are getting a little stronger now. So we almost lost one. One was pretty weakened, so there we go. So two weak ones out of that. Not too bad. Uh, unfortunately, we're not getting enough straw again. Uh, traders are not really trading as well as I would like. Anyway, we're evolving these houses quite nicely into... Spacious apartment, uh, spacious homestead is it? Yeah, spacious homestead. To evolve them anymore, we're going to need to get beer from somewhere. Now we can import plenty of barley from Buhen and Dashur. We're not trading with Dashur at the moment, but we're trading with Buhen quite nicely. I also have to think about that monument that we had to build the small mastaba. Um, I think I'll build it there. I think it'll look quite nice right there next to all of our housing as a nice outlook. So I'll just put that down. It just needs 10,000 bricks, which is not too bad. Um, I'm going to leave an opening, so I can just put down one, two, three, four of those, that should be more enough. That'll help with our unemployment as well, our unemployment's 40. It's a little uh, lower than I was expected, but these will all evolve and that'll help. Okay, so we'll start to import barley from somewhere. What? Did the ship just randomly destroy itself there? I'm pretty sure I just saw a ship randomly destroy itself. And one of the trading ships got caught in the floodplain, unfortunate. Looks, well, looks like one of them was just so weakened that it just destroyed itself. <laughs> anyway, I'll let this run, I'll come back in a bit later once there's something interesting to show. Okay, so we've got another invasion incoming, one gear until another Kushite army. I think they get stronger over time. Hopefully this is the last one. Uh, over here I'm setting up just the last housing block that we're going to need. Importing barley from Buhen. Uh, 1500 barley imported out of 2500. I think that's more than enough brick layers. Um, I'll just add one more right there and that'll be more than enough to cover that. We are going to need to import way more straw than we're getting. Uh, these are all stockpiled with plenty of it. So let's import more from Dash. Uh, how much we, we've only imported 800. We can't even import this much. Um, how much uh, are we exporting? That's quite a lot. Um, how much have we got over here? Plenty. Quite a bit there, that's not too bad. Uh, so let's just actually pad out some of these blocks with more housing. We can just do a few down here. Like so, that's a bit too far. And then we can just put down a... One of those, and a smaller one right here. Uh, I hope this fits. It doesn't, which is unfortunate. What can I get? That in there, there we go. That should reach. If it doesn't, I'll just put down more of them. Don't think I'll evolve this one too high, but we'll see. It might, um, it, it might change later if I need the population or if I don't need the population, but we shall see. So things are coming on quite nice. I've got all the forts we need and um, all the military vessels we need. I've got a, quite a nice a bit of a land force here produced for all the weapons that have been stockpiling for God knows how long. Uh, now the, 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 the thing I need to do is make bricks. Um, how much have, We are suffering so much of a labour shortage. We are going to need to start evolving houses I think at this point. Um, space for 160. We're going to have to put more housing down and evolve it. So I'll come back in later when the invasion's here and then we'll start working towards our goals.
Okay, so the next invasion is incoming. We are evolving all of our houses. We've got these up nicely to spacious apartment. We've also got these ones evolving very slightly. I'm not too sure if I'll need to fill this block out because we are getting close to our target population. With five, uh, basically 600 more people, it'll fill up up to 4,000. And I've also got this block down here, which is uh, getting going to get access to pottery now. So I may not need this block. I might not even need to pad it out that much. So it's not doing too badly. Um, we're providing meat over here because fish is getting a little low now and I might need to start putting down some additional wharfs here and there. Um, oh, large invasion, we've got battle music. Hopefully these warships will be more than enough to deal with that. Seems like it. These houses are evolving. Let's just um, get in there and speed up time. There we go, we survived pretty well, no losses. Two, three... Four, five, yeah, we, we took one little bit of hull damage on one of the ships. That wasn't too bad at all. Um, I've also set up some brick layer, uh, brickworks here because we are going to need to start producing bricks to make the monument. Um, I'm probably going to have to open up Trader Dash here to get more straw because it seems that Abu's not selling as much as I would like. Uh, let's see the first straw is starting to get to these brickworks. I'm not going to set up a massive amount because what I have to note about brickworks is that um, it takes 100 clay, so 100 clay and 25 straw makes one brick. But these stockpile 200 straw, so basically you can make, as long as you have a continual clay supply, you can basically make 800 bricks uh, from one brick work. So 8, 6, so that'll make one yard's worth if all the straw is put in. So that's 100 straw, that'll make four bricks as long as there's clay. So it's fine, we don't need to worry too much about um, the brick supply here, we can make more than enough. Uh, so it's just basically three full yards worth to build this mass, but it's not going to be too much of a problem. Ah, we've got some housing devolution here, not enough entertainment. Um, are these complaining about entertainment? Nope. And it looks as if probably spawning glitches again. Yeah, it's just go going up that way, which doesn't help. I could probably rectify that very easily just by putting that there and have them wander the long way around, which probably works. Um, I'll probably put down a dance school as well, let's just put that um, there. Then we'll just put down juggler schools elsewhere and boost up our, um, our coverage and all that. Try and meet our culture rating as well, let's have a look at it. Uh, 15, we need to provide dentists. We've got the prosperity so it's okay, we don't need to worry. Uh, kingdoms met, it's just monument population which will be met in time. Oh, and Bass is looking a bit displeased, I'll go and keep her happy. Okay, so we'll just keep on going. I'll come back in if anything of interest happens. I'm not going to time lapse this um, monument. There's no need to. And uh, yeah, I'll just keep keep on going. I'll come back in later. Oh, what's this? To celebrate his many achievements, Pharaoh is building so massive that he wants me to send half a yard of limestone to Menefer in 12 months, so 15 blocks. So let's just have a look. I was just speeding up today. We have our population. We have our. Well, we don't have our culture, we just need to put down a few booze here and there. Everything else is met. We do need to get some uh, granite stockpiled somewhere. We do have the limestone, thankfully, we prepared it earlier. So let's just send that off right now. And what we're going to do is just pause there. We're not going to have any more limestone going in these yards. Because what we are going to do is centralise it. Like so. We're going to have... Uh, we're going to... We don't only need this many work camps, so let's just delete that. That could be limestone and granite. And then one granite quarry can go, not a limestone quarry, a, la a granite quarry could go right there. And then I can just put down this and this. Okay, I've also put down the village palace at the town palace, rather. Unemployment's getting up there, which is not helpful, and um, we don't have really any way of controlling it other than with work camps, of course. Um, so let's just dump a few down here. Like so, that'll probably help. You've run out of food, apparently, but you're getting back up there, which is good. Providing meat to these people here. I've watched the meat supply is rather erratic when there's not enough uh, straw coming in. I have gone ahead and opened up the trade route to Dashir just to get a continual supply because it seems to be whittled down very quickly because these uh, things take exactly 100 straw compared to the brickworks which only take they take 200 straw but they use it up in a much slower fashion so it's kind of annoying um, not sure about this block I might 
cuts back on it. I might not even need this block to be honest. I could probably just evolve this and this, it would be fine. And um, beer's too far away, so let's just bring this over here. Quarter. We're not importing green, are we? Let's just get rid of it. And we can import, uh, get that up there as well. We'll just put down a scrivel school as well, like so. Um, meat, helpful, thank you. I'm not sure where the meat comes from in Men Necker, they don't have straw, but never mind. So yeah, we're just going to keep on going here, we don't really have anything else to do except wait for the monument to be constructed, which could take a while when we're not getting enough uh, bricks and all that. So yeah, I'm just going to, oh, I just realised I've destroyed all of the um, work camps, which is not going to, well actually no, we've got a bunch here, what we're talking about. So yeah, we're just going to keep on going and I'll come back in a bit later once the monument is complete or unless something happens. Okay, so we're still continuing on with the mission here, and um, basically I had to turn off meat because for some weird reason, uh, the whole um, brick industry, everything was completely unstable with having meat being on. Like I said, right at the beginning, meat is terribly unreliable for a food source, unless you've got like a shit ton of it, and you can make pretty much infinite straw. There's no way to, to keep these two going, so I did have to turn off the whole meat industry, just to allow these brickworks to actually produce bricks. Uh, the wire was nearly complete, just needs basically one full yard of bricks. Um, unfortunately, these houses started getting very unstable. The fish supply just seemed to evaporate into nothingness, basically. Um, we can... See, the problem is I don't want to put too much more down because we're struggling to keep people employed. This whole housing block is unstable now, which is unfortunate. Uh, so let's just try and stabilise this block over here. Uh, juggler, can I put that somewhere? I not really anywhere I can put these things anymore. I'm sort of running into space problems. Uh, let's just put a juggler there. A juggler can go there. And now I'm sort of just building things at random, trying to de uh, to restabilize this city. Uh, these houses here can be destroyed. Because what I can do is just delete that whole back bit. Do two of those, and then uh, can I get a juggler just in there? Yes, I can. And that'll help with unemployment, which will help in the long run. Got plenty of food in the city, it just doesn't seem to flow very well. This one gets filled, filled up rather quickly, this one's really empty, and it doesn't seem to get into the system as the way I would like. So what I'm going to do is try and stabilise these two blocks here, not worry so much about this one which is just all over the place in terms of stability. Unfortunate, I know. But that's just the way it has to be, I mean this one's barely getting enough food for some reason. Uh, one month. We got a warning uh, 18 months ago that there was going to be another invasion, so I've got everything all nicely prepared. I did start setting up more land troops just in case it's a land invasion. Um, I don't think it will be because that would be very cruel on the, the game engine, to be honest. Uh, just a, basically, one more stockpile of bricks and we'll be fine. Yeah, it's another water invasion. We get rid of the transports very quickly. And there we go. Good, very strong, very strong, very strong. So we did lose a couple of warships there before, uh, yeah they went off and got repaired so not doing too badly on this one. Uh, we're paying higher uh, tax rate which is because we're paying higher than kingdom rating normal which is good which is helping to offset our poor exports which is fine. So at this point yeah I'm just going to keep on going and I'll come back in when the Massiva is complete eventually. And there we go, there's the last load of bricks finally getting into this Mastaba. Thank God it's only taken a bloody forever to do this. Last brick has been laid in place and the Mastaba is now complete, which is perfect. So let's have a look at our city. So we started here with this little LJ heart block, whatever, I don't know what you want to call it. Started off with this, got a copper going and it helped to pretty much expedite all of our uh, various industries. Then went over to here and here set up all of our various industries. This is basically just an industry dump and um, had our warships all over here. This is just allows us connection into the city basically and then this block over here which is kept surprisingly stable with fish. This block which is pretty much terrible. I think it's just because when you're transporting food when the bazaar ladies have to go across the, the river they seem to get the food at an extremely slow rate. Never mind. Uh, so I'll learn that for the future. So that was pretty much uh, the mission done. Let's have a look at our ratings, 35, didn't bother importing flax, 
Prosperity is fine, King, uh, Kingdom ratings all fine, Population is where it needs to be. God's all happy. One more save. And now we can dispatch off the 16 blocks of granite prepared earlier. Victory, there we go, we're done with Earnet, fought off the Kushite threat. And now we can rest in peace in our, uh, our Masaba. Let us proceed to the next mission. Extraordinary. In spite of poor conditions and continuous attack from fierce Kushites, you have built a fine city and shored up Egypt's southern border. Indeed we have. We managed to keep off the Kushite threat who just attacked by water all the time. Uh, Culturating 35 as we went through there. Final city funds of 85,000 is pretty good and we defeated it on hard mode. That took a lot longer than I wanted though. Could have completed it quicker but I took it too quick. Uh, too sh uh, sh I took it too... You know what I mean. I'm losing my train of thought. This mission is driving me insane. So that was Ionet. If you want to head to the next mission, Rosha, click on the card on the screen because that is the next mission in the playlist uh, in the the series. If you want to head to Own or Heliopolis, just click next on the playlist. That will be that for me. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye now.